welcome and this is the orientation and welcome video for um, general education statistics for the summer okay so this is uh, specifically for you guys uh, you students who are taking this over the summer and so I'm going to go through this welcome video I'm going to go through the uh, canvas website I'm going to go through the syllabus and so this is going to be a pretty um, lengthy video so but bear with me it's very important it's packed with important information and uh, things that you should do okay so again um, so let's jump right in so here we have uh, the canvas website so this is the home page nothing really to it um, I'm pretty much gonna leave it like this uh, the really the most important things is the uh, navigation menu on the left and then of course you've got your information on the right here okay and so I'm gonna go through uh, the main things that you're going to use, which is going to be these top um, five links here. Okay. And, um, but again, you can peruse all of these, but I'm not going to spend time on, on the bottom ones, but these right here, I'm going to spend the most time with. Uh, you have some links here for the so modules and syllabus, but you've got that right here too. So again, I really didn't do much with the, the middle here. Okay. So <clears throat> announcements. So here are all where you're going to find the announcements that I send out about the course at the beginning of the course uh, and throughout the course. Okay. So here are some uh, announcements with some Zoom meetings and, and uh, links and things like that. Uh, again, the, these may not be there when you start the class, but again, these are where I'm going to put uh, announcements as the semester or the summer session uh, goes on. Okay. So then the syllabus okay so this is where you're going to find the syllabus okay in fact I'm going to uh, add that now I've got the syllabus here so let me open the syllabus so here's the syllabus I'm gonna go through the syllabus um, so that you guys know the highlights of the syllabus but I highly recommend that you read the syllabus okay read it in its entirety maybe some of the information doesn't apply to you maybe it does but you won't know unless you read it okay so I'm going to go through, and so notice uh, here, you've got the information about the class, okay? Um, so this is a flex class, which means we meet one day a week, okay? And the rest of the time, it's online, okay? Which means that you're going to be doing it uh, as an online class, but we're going to meet one day a week for a few hours. Okay, so here we're going to meet on Wednesday, okay, and we're going to meet from 6.30 to 9.20 uh, p.m., so almost three hours, okay? What are we going to do during those three hours? Well, I'll get to that in, in a moment, okay? Um, but this is a flex class, meaning that we're going to meet uh, one day a week, and the rest of the time you're going to be working online on your own, uh, and of course I'll be there uh, as a, uh, a person to reach out to for help. Okay, and then of course, here's my information, so, and the course information. So you've got my name, uh, office hours by appointment, and again, I'll set those up uh, once I'm ready uh, and I have everything ready for the semester. And I'll usually do Zoom office hours um, based on my availability and things like that. And, um, and then of course, the required text. Okay, so you've got the required text, which is a, in PDF form. Okay, um, and then a TI-84 graphing calculator is required for this class. Anything higher than that, um, don't ask me for help. If you have an Aspire or anything like that, um, you can always Google and do videos and things like that. So, but a TI-84 is what you want um, to get. Okay. So again, I'm going to not skip through, I'm going to skip through some of this stuff that's just, you can read on your own. Okay. So a couple of things here, this is the grading scale. Okay. So for, so this, these are the weights of the different things you're going to be graded on or assessed on for these, for, for the session. Okay. So you've got, uh, exams. Those are wor each worth 15% of your grade. Uh, you've got attendance, which is 3%, and you've got final exam, for example, which is 30%. So that this means 
it's a weighted average. Your grade in the class is a weighted average. We're going to talk about weighted averages actually and how to calculate a weighted average. Um, so what does this mean? It means that you're not going to just add up your points and divide by the total possible points. That's not the way it works. Um, that would be okay if all of the assessments were weighted the exact same, if they were all equally weighted. That's not the case here. So this is going to be a weighted average, okay? Exam points are worth more than Excel project points. The final exam was worth more than the exam uh, one, two, and three, okay? So keep that in mind. Now your course grade is based on this scale here. Okay, so your overall grade. Now in Canvas, the the, um, uh, the column you want to pay attention to is uh, the the um, I believe it's the weighted total column, and I'll show you that in a moment. But again, on your phone, and um, that's going to be the column that's going to usually pop up. If it turns out to be something else that pops up on your phone, just be aware that uh, it's going to be the weighted column uh, that we're going to be going from, not the total column. Okay, so lecture video. So how is this going to work? This is a flipped classroom. Okay, so I've got all my lecture videos done already for you to watch. Okay, the lecture videos are there for basically done just like a lecture. Okay, it's there for you to get your information about the, the uh, what we're going to be covering in the textbook. I do examples. I do it exactly the way I would do it if I was lecturing in a classroom. Okay. Uh, you can pause it. Now that's the cool thing about this is that you can pause it, you can rewind, you can fast forward, you could uh, make it go faster, okay? You can watch it at 1.5 times the speed, you know, whatever works for you. But the main thing is, is you got to watch the videos because that's where the information is coming from for when we work in class and when you do your homework and when you do the exams, okay? If you don't watch the lecture videos, that's like skipping class, okay, and not, and not coming to lecture. Okay, um, because what I'm not going to do in lecture, uh, in the class, the one class that we meet once a week, I'm not going to be lecturing. Okay, I may do mini lectures based on questions that you have, but we're not going to be lecturing. What we're going to be doing in class is we're going to be working on homework. We're going to be working on problems um, that you, that basically that you get stuck on. Um, if you come to class and um, that's going to be the time to ask questions uh, to ask for clarification to get help on things you didn't understand in the lecture video. So when we come to class, we're going to be doing a, a lot of work. Okay, we're, you're going to be working on homework, you're going to be working on Excel projects, uh, you're going to be, we're going to be going over problems that you didn't understand, we're going to be answering questions you got stuck on. We're going to use that time to basically make sure that all of you, each and every one of you, understands the material that you watched in the lecture video. Okay, so what do you want to do during the lecture videos when you're watching lecture videos? Well, one, you want to make sure you watch the lecture videos in a, an area, a room, somewhere where you're going to have quietness, right? You're going to have silence. You're going to have, be able to concentrate and you're going to have good internet connection. Okay. While you're watching lecture videos, what should you be doing? You should be taking notes just like you would be in a real lecture if that's what your thing is, if you take notes. So take good notes, just like if you were watching it. The, now, here's the thing. Even though you can pause the video, I recommend you don't keep pausing the video just to write down something. That's going to make watching the videos much longer. So take your notes as you're watching the video and just the same way that you would take notes if you're in class. And then what you can do is later on, you can go back to the video and fast forward it and write down some notes that you missed and fill in your notes. But you can do that later. That's just a suggestion for me. Okay, um, what else do you want to say about this? Um, make sure you watch the lecture videos before we meet. So the way that this is going to be split up is, is there's going to be things to do before we meet for class. There's going to be things that we're going to be doing during class, which I just um, mentioned. And then there's going to be things that you're to do after we meet for class for the rest of the week. So the stuff before class and the stuff be after class are the things that you need to do on your own and make sure that they are done before class, okay, or before the date, okay, and I'll go through that in a moment. So make sure you do that, okay. Now, um, 
why do I, why am I doing this is a flipped classroom because it tends to be better. It's a much better way of learning and you'll see now it's again, it's different. Okay. But it's also a better way of learning. Okay. So again, just make sure you buy into it and just accept it and then push forward. And you're going to find that this is going to be much better than just sitting through a lecture and then trying to figure it out on your own when you go home and trying to email me and hopefully get an answer and within the time period that you want to get an answer from because I know you all have things that you've got going on outside of class, okay? So, buy into it, okay? And then just do it and you'll find that this is going to be a much better way of doing it. Okay, so now, and we can talk and I'll be here to help you as well, remember that. Okay, so now here's the exams, okay? So again, there are gonna three, be three exams throughout the semester. Um, there will be not any makeup exams. There will be no makeup exams. So if you miss an exam, that's it. I do not make exceptions for that. So again, do not miss an exam, okay? Um, if at all possible, okay? Um, Okay. Uh, the only exception, obviously, is going to be if you're pregnant and you have a note from your doctor regarding uh, the medical reason why you cannot take the exam. Okay. Other than that, um, there are no exceptions. Okay. Um, and then, of course, read this. Okay. Uh, a couple, of, you know, read these things. Make sure you read these things. Okay. And then here's the exam schedule. Okay. Now, again, this is a uh, welcome video that's done for all summer classes. So again, this, this may not be exact, the exact dates that you're going to be looking at in syllabus. Okay. But this is where you're going to find these dates. Okay. So again, uh, make sure you go to the syllabus and read the syllabus that's on canvas. Okay. Again, this may be the same syllabus that you have. It may be different. Again, I'm doing this lecture video for uh, multiple classes for multiple times. And so again, just bear with me. The, the meat and potatoes of the syllabus are going to be the same. Okay, so here's the idea of the homework. Uh, homework is going to be due, their online homework. And what you're going to do is, is you've got four attempts to get the homework correct. So this is going to be a lot for pra uh, mainly for practice. Okay, so you should be able to get high scores on all the homework. Um, you get four attempts at the homework and then that's it. It takes your highest score. Okay. I will also be dropping the lowest three uh, homework scores um, throughout the semester. And that's automatically done in Canvas. So I already have it set up and um, it'll keep dropping the lowest three scores uh, throughout the semester, whichever three turns out to be. So uh, the lowest. Um, let's see. Suggested homework. There will be suggested homework outside of the class. Now this is going to be stuff that you can do on your own. There's other examples. Uh, in the textbook, there's uh, other exercises at the end of the, each chapter that you can do for uh, practice. Again, the more you do, the better you're going to do in the class. Uh, let's see. Uh, practice exams. I may have practice exams. Um, I may not. Again, if, if I don't, that's fine. Um, it's something I may or may not have. Okay, Excel projects. There are Excel projects that you will have to do. Uh, they're very straightforward. They're actually quite easy. And there are, I think, um, there are several of them. I think there's six of them, okay? And uh, I will drop the lowest Excel homework score, okay? These are just little assignments that you get to do in Excel. And even if you haven't had Excel, that's no problem. You can still get, um, do very well on these. And it doesn't take a lot of time to do them. Okay, I give you more time to do them, but seriously, if you do, if you get on top of these, as soon as we cover cover the material and you watch the videos, I have helpful videos um, on how to do these in Canvas. Okay, um, you should have no problem doing it. Okay, don't wait till the last minute to do these. Okay, because again, I'm not responsible for technical issues. Um, if you end up turning in late, it's a zero. Okay, I don't accept any late um, homework. Or assignments. Okay, tardiness. 
I do give uh, attendance credit, okay? Um, which I believe, where's it at? I know it's in here somewhere. Yeah, but I do give attendance and you get two points for attendance, okay? So even though we're meeting just once a week, okay, so we're gonna meet a meeting eight times, that means you get a total of 16 points. So if you miss a class, that's gonna be a hefty chunk of points that you're missing each time you miss class. Uh, if you miss class, you lose both points. If you leave early or if you come late, you lose a point. So if you come early and leave late, you just lost two points, okay? So be aware, it's a very important for you to show up to class, okay? Because we're gonna be doing a lot of work, you're gonna be working, um, that's where you're gonna be able to get your questions answered. If you're struggling with something, I'm gonna be there to help you. I'm gonna be, I can do mini lectures. I'm not gonna do full blown lectures because again, that's what the lecture videos are for. But if there's something you're not, uh, not sure about, if there's a question you have, I'm gonna be there to help you. And you're not the only one that probably has the same question, okay? So please ask, please come, don't miss class. Okay, switching classes. Uh, you can't switch classes after the first two weeks, okay? Just keep that in mind. Again, read all this, classroom behavior, um, withdrawals, okay? Um, again, pay attention to the date here on what the last day of the withdrawal is from. Again, it may be different than what you're seeing here in the actual syllabus, right? Uh, additional resources, again, very important. Um, I'm not gonna go through a lot of this stuff here. Make sure you read this all on your own, okay? By the way, uh, academic integrity. So cheating, okay, I'm gonna have to just take a moment to talk about cheating. Cheating is something that has skyrocketed here at the college and in, 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 in pretty much colleges across uh, the country. And so be aware, one of the things that I do is if you're performing at a certain level on exams, okay, and all of a sudden you do very well on a particular exam, now you may have studied, and trust me, a lot of students will do, they'll start off poorly and they'll kick it into gear, realize, ooh, I, I need to study. Uh, this isn't as easy as I thought it was going to be. And uh, they'll start studying and they'll, they'll do much better in the next exam. Now, I may do a what's called a post-exam interview. And all that is is where I take a set number of questions that you got correct on the exam, and I'm gonna ask you to walk me through how you got the solution. Okay, so you'll have to do some of the calculations again. You'll have to do, but again, this is done the day after the exam. So it must be done the day of the uh, after the exam. If I email you, you must be available to do it after the day after the exam, okay? So that it's fresh in your mind, okay? So again, this is, again, if you didn't cheat, then there's no problem, okay? It's just a matter of, it's a formality in that, at that point, okay? So my point is, is don't cheat. Don't risk it. Because if you do do the post interview, uh, post-exam interview and you're not able to uh, answer my questions and you're not able to get the correct answer that you already got on the exam about 24 hours earlier, then you're going to end up failing the exam. I will give you an F on the exam um, and um, it will be considered cheating. Now, whether I report it or not will be up to you and how cooperative you are um, in the process, but don't risk it. I'm telling you right now, don't risk it. Don't cheat, okay? Um, I, every single time um, I've done a post-exam interview where the student did cheat, it's always come out, okay? Um, it's, it's obvious, okay? So again, just don't, just don't go there, okay? For, for your sake and for my sake, I don't like doing it, but I, I have to, okay? Um, it's something that, that is uh, encouraged by the college, um, and something that is done by many professors. Okay, so please, just don't do that. Don't put yourself in that position and risk your academic career and your academic record. It's just not worth it. Okay. Um, the better idea is to study and prepare for the exam so you don't have to worry about it. Uh, but again, if you did do poorly and you did uh, end up doing well on an exam and you didn't cheat, then, and you know you didn't cheat, then again, it's just a formality. You have nothing to worry about. It, it'll be actually a very easy, uh, simple interview process, okay? The only time it becomes 
um, a challenge is if students didn't study and they ended up cheating. That's the only time it ever becomes an issue. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh, here are the important dates. So here are the important dates. Again, I always put things in multiple places for you to be able to have access to information. Okay. So I, I do this to make the syllabus as easy as uh, to have information at your fingertips. So here are important dates for you. And then of course, keys to success, tips to success for this class and pretty much any class if you ask me. Here are the course objectives, Excel objectives, calculator objectives, things you should be able to do and know uh, by the end of the, throughout the course or by the end of the course. Okay, so now here's the tentative schedule. So notice how I have this set up. So in week one, I have before class, right? So this is what you should do before class. So these are all the lecture videos you should watch. All the things, so this is week zero. This is the, the week before classes start where you can get familiar with Canvas and start preparing yourself and reading the syllabus and things like that. And take the syllabus quiz, uh, which is a quiz over the syllabus to make sure that you did read the syllabus. And then of course, so, so again, this is the before the class. Now, here's what we're gonna be doing after class. So come prepared. Prepare for, with questions and ready to work. So typically, what are we going to do in class? Again, uh, we're going to be working. Okay, we're going to be working on homework. We're going to be working on Excel projects. We're going to be working on things that you have to, to do, right? The, what we are not going to do in class is watch lecture videos. Okay, so what you will not be doing in class is watching the lecture videos you should have had done before class, okay? Okay, so do not bring your laptops to watch videos, okay? Bring your laptops to class, then I strongly encourage you to bring your laptops to class because you're going to be using your laptops to do the online homework, the Excel projects, um, and to go over problems and questions that you got stuck on, or other problems and questions from the PowerPoint uh, that's, that's going to be there, the PowerPoint, um, uh, there's going to be a PowerPoint that you have available as a resource. There's also going to be uh, the textbook and things like that that you're going to have uh, uh, access to in Canvas. Okay, so what are we going to do? Again, we're going to start class with going through questions, things that you didn't understand, things that you found confusing, and I'm going to be there at the beginning of class for, to go over that information, to discuss it. We're going to discuss it. We're going to talk about it. We're going to make sure that everybody understands. I want to make sure that all of your questions are answered. Anything that you get stuck on is answered because my goal is that each and every one of you is learning the material at your own pace and that whatever you're getting stuck on, because people get stuck on different things, I'm going to be there as the educational professional to help guide and answer your questions so that you understand the material so you do well in the class each and every one of you okay but i cannot do that if you do not come to class and you do not come prepared with questions and problems you get stuck on so here's one of the things that you could do you can come to class with a list of problems things you get stuck on or better yet you can email me before class and let me know, hey, Mr. C, can you go over this problem? Hey, Mr. C, I didn't quite understand this in the lecture video. Can you, can you do another example of this one? Or, hey, Mr. C, can you explain this concept here? I didn't quite understand it. Um, and then be detailed. Tell me what you didn't understand, okay? And if you do that, guess what? I can come to class with a whole list of things to do that I know is going to help you guys with the material, okay? And that's why I don't come to class to lecture because I'm not going to repeat what you already seen in the lecture videos. And besides, you have the lecture videos. You can always rewatch them. Okay. So I, it's going to be much more beneficial when we come to class that you guys give me all of the stuff that you're struggling with and all of the problems that you didn't get or, or things that you didn't understand so that I can hit on those. And then basically once I do that, then the rest of the class period, is going to be for you to work on the homework, Excel projects, um, and while you're going through those, guess what? I'm gonna be there if you get stuck. I can come over and help you 
work through the problem. Or if you get stuck on doing an Excel project, guess what? If, you, if you're working on it during class, guess what? And you get stuck on, I can be there to help you. Now, the one thing I want to let you know is make sure you watch the videos first for the Excel projects, okay? The vast majority of information, in fact, I would say all the information for you to do the Excel projects is in Excel. Now, I may have another way of doing it that would be better. Um, again, it's, there's many different ways of doing these things. The videos may show one way. I may do it a different way. That's totally fine. Okay. But make sure you're watching the videos. And before you do the, um, the uh, Excel videos, or to me, make sure before you do the Excel homework or the Excel projects, watch the Excel videos that I have on Canvas. And, I'm, and again, I'm going to show you those in a moment. Okay. So notice that I've got, again, things to do before we meet. Then there's going to be things we're going to be doing at, in class. And then there's going to be things where you're going to be have to do after class before Friday. Okay. Everything is either due on Wednesday or Friday or some other day, but you have to look at the syllabus. So um, here, Friday, we've got these things due. So again, things to do after this class, this, this class right here. These are the videos you're going to want to watch. Okay. And these are the things that are due Friday. The, these are the things that are due Wednesday. So again, pay attention to the, to, the, to the schedule here in the syllabus because everything is in the syllabus that's due. So again, I have it in the syllabus. I also have the due dates in Canvas. So again, I have it in multiple places so that there's no excuse for you not knowing when things are due. Okay. By the way, do not email me and ask me when something's due. Um, I don't know. Okay, so what, look at the syllabus. So when I know something in the syllabus, I'm always going to point you back to the syllabus. Okay, um, so I do a very I do a lot to help you guys with due dates. So again, all the due dates, everything you need to know as far as assignments are is in the syllabus, and it's also in Canvas. Okay, so let's go let's go back. So that's pretty much it. Um, oh, one last thing. So here's the the tentative dates. Now here's the information sheet. So I get, there's two sheets I want you to fill out. The first one is the student information sheet that allows me to get to know you and uh, your interests and just get to know you a little bit. So I'll fill this out and then there's a signature page. This needs to be, both these pages need to be uploaded. Now, if you upload them before the due date, um, oh, and I have to change the due date on this. This is not correct. But anyway, the due date will be down here. Okay. And uh, you'll have to upload it through Canvas. I'll show you where to upload it. But they have to be uploaded before the due date. If you do, then guess what? You'll get extra credit. Okay? So you get extra credit for turning in the last two pages of the syllabus. Okay, so let's go back to Canvas. Okay, so here's where the syllabus is going to be. Now, here's where the modules are. So if you want to see the modules, this is where they're at. Okay, now, right now, this is all you see. So let's get out of student view for a moment. And so here is all the modules that you're going to see. Okay, so here's week zero. Okay. And then the following week, you'll see week one. Okay, and this is where the information starts. And again, this will be all available. And so if notice that it has the to-dos before week class. So these are all of the things in the syllabus that I said you need to do. So all you have to do is go in order and read the text. So here's the textbook. And then following this section of the textbook, so here's the PDF. So you can read this. And then here are the lecture videos that go along with this section. Okay. And then here's the uh, 1.2 text followed by its videos and then 1.3 text followed by its videos. And so that's the way I have it organized. And then here's the to-do list for this week's class during class. So here's your homework one along with the due date. Okay. And then here's what to do after class again. So here are all the things to do in class or after, after this week's class. And then here's the stuff that's due. So it follows the syllabus schedule. Okay. And then here's week two and then all the way through 
all the way through week eight. Okay. So I have, uh, I, I've done a lot to make this as straightforward as, as possible for you guys. Okay. Now, um, is there anything else to do with this? Okay. So again, a couple of things, where are you going to find this welcome video? So the welcome video is going to be right here. So this is where you're going to find the welcome video on week zero. That's going to be part of your week zero. Okay. And then of course I've got the minutes here. Now this is not, this is a new welcome video. So this is not going to be exactly, but you're going to see the time here. And then if you go, if I go back, Okay, so here's all the getting started with Canvas. So I would highly recommend if you've never done Canvas before, take the time in week zero to go through all of the stuff. Uh, here are the welcome, here's the Excel videos for your, for your Excel projects. So if you go in here, these are all of the Excel, the Excel videos that are going to help you do all of the assignments, all the Excel assignments that you're going to have to do, okay? So again, there's there's a, a video for each assignment, okay? So here they are, okay? Now, the way, the way that she does it in the video may be different than the way I do it, but if you have a question about it, uh, again, make sure you watch these videos first, okay? And, um, I'll go through some of the things in class. So in fact, some of the things I'll go over in class with about the, um, the Excel videos, and I'll give you my opinion about how um, I would do it and things like that. So again, just ask, no big deal, but make sure you watch these videos first before you ask, okay? Uh, let's see here. And again, um, Ah, here's where you're going to submit your last two pages of the syllabus for the extra credit, okay? And you get 10 points extra credit. Those are 10 points of exam points, okay? So those 10 points can be used on, uh, on the first exam, okay? So again, if you only get one shot at it, I do not accept late submissions for extra credit, okay? So make sure you don't submit those late. I'll still accept them. I will still love to take them but you just won't get the extra credit for them. Okay. And, uh, okay. What's next? Okay. Assignment. So what if you, what if you want to just go to the assignments, you can just go straight to the assignments and this has the list of all of the homework, all of the assignments and their due dates for the entire semester. So you can just come here and notice that I've got attendance, ah, right? So here's attendance. So we've got extra credit. We've got attendance. Now, I haven't set this up yet, but there'll also be the weightings here. So you'll see the weights for homework. So here's now quizzes. Again, uh, those are gonna be separate. So you may have in-class quizzes. I may give you an in-class quiz. Um, so that may also be a part of the uh, your grade. Again, I haven't decided exactly how I'm gonna do that, but I, that will also be in the grading scale. So uh, quizzes, then you've got your Excel projects along with the due dates. Uh, and then you've got your exams. Uh, again, discussion groups, there may be discussion groups. Again, I haven't figured out or decided how I'm gonna in in incorporate discussions, but you may see discussion board questions uh, that you'll have to participate in and, and contribute to. Uh, exam two, exam three, and then of course the final exam. Okay, so again, these are gonna have all the due dates along with the assessment. So you can just come to assignments and see everything and do it that way. So there's another one. And then of course you've got grades here. Okay. Um, so that's, I think about it, everything I wanted to go over. So again, again, this is a pretty long video, but again, make sure that you watch the, this video in its entirety. Make sure you read the syllabus, make sure you uh, peruse, Canvas and familiarize yourself with all of the aspects of Kansas and uh, make sure you start with uh, week zero and do all of these th things in week zero and that will help prepare you. Now, I will also be available for questions before class starts. So if you have any questions before class starts in week one, okay, uh, be my guest and uh, reach out to me, okay? Um, other than that, I look forward to meeting each and every one of you. I look forward to helping you guys 
successfully uh, navigate and finish this class, okay? I'll do my part. All you have to do is make sure you do your part and uh, be the good student that uh, I know each and every one of you can be, okay? Other than that, take care and have a great day.